Hi, my name is Katherine Guidry and I am so excited to talk with you today about five must-have resources that you should know about for your photography business. If you are interested in learning more about posing, pricing, or watching us photograph a real couple behind the scenes, be sure to visit the description for those links. Now we're going to dive into the details. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the five things that you should be doing for your business and the resources that will help you do those five things. All right, so let's dive in. The first thing we're going to talk about is web design. One of the resources that you absolutely should have for your business is a strong website. That is going to be the handshake and the first impression for your business when a client comes on to decide whether or not they're gonna hire you. I can tell you from experience that I have done all the things going all the way back to whenever websites were made with Flash. I've had a WordPress site that was custom built for me with a web designer. I've worked with flow themes. I've had pro photo setups. I have done all of the different options for websites. But I can tell you that after all the years, the best system for me has been with Showit. Showit is a company that I use to build and design and update my entire website. There's a few things that I absolutely love about Showit. Number one, it's very intuitive. Using Showit is almost like using Illustrator. If you've ever used Adobe Illustrator, you are not gonna have a problem in Showit. It's very intuitive. You don't have to pay a designer to update things like your images or your text. I can tell you that we built my entire husband's website in one day, and it was so easy, so streamlined. There's a monthly subscription for Showit. It's about $25 a month. However, I do have a discount code that I will share with you in just a moment. But other than that, you can get free templates on their website. So the coupon code that I have is MAGIC, M-A-G-I-C. I'll put that here um, in the video so that you can see it, but that'll give you a discount off of your annual subscription. Here's a few other things that I really like about Show It. Their customer service. They are very helpful. While I was in the process of building my website, there was a few questions that I had, a few things that popped up. There's a little chat bubble when you're building the site and it makes it very easy to communicate with anyone from Showit if you have a question. You can just say, hey, I'm struggling with this part of my website, what do I do? Here's the thing. A website is very important to your brand because that's what's going to sell your services and teach people about you and your portfolio and what you can do for their wedding or their portraits or ever, whatever type of photography that you do. But no one wants to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Collectively over the past 10 plus years, I've spent over $10,000 on web design with paying custom designers and using all these different themes and options. And when I found Show It for $25 a month, I was like, this is a no brainer for me because of the fact that it is so intuitive I can use it for the website. I build my pricing guides into there. I use it a ton for my education brand and it's super versatile. There's no limit to the amount of pages that you can make and that's why I absolutely love Show It. All right, so let's dive into our second topic which is gonna be client management. When it comes to managing your clients, it's about how you are able to interact with and handle your clients, but it's also about the client side. What are they seeing? What does it look like? How easy is it to use? I was in a program called Shoot Q for a very long time. I even paid to become one of their founding members um, where we paid a flat fee and I never had to pay the subscription again. However, after their upgrade, I felt like it didn't really fit my needs and I found it not as intuitive as I had hoped. And so I switched out of Shoot Q into Dubsado. Dubsado is what I'm using right now and I love it. My clients are happy and I'm happy. Um, it integrates with QuickBooks. One of the things I said whenever I moved into the program was that between the softwares that it connect with and the ability for clients to tip, that in and of itself paid for the subscription. It's pretty crazy, but I've actually had clients tip on photography photography jobs as much as up to a thousand dollars on a job that we photographed which is unbelievable and so wonderful that um, our clients are so generous and also that Dubsado has given us the opportunity for clients to pay us in tip through their servicing program called Stripe. I also love that Dubsado connects with QuickBooks. QuickBooks is what I use to manage and keep track of our behind the scenes financial side of the business. Dubsado basically allows your customers to view their invoices after you generate them, and when they pay, it automatically syncs to QuickBooks, so I don't have to re-enter the invoice, I don't have to re-enter the payments, all of that is already in the system. Dubsado has a scheduling software. Before I was using Dubsado, I was using Calendly, and that was another subscription that I was having to pay for, and now I no longer have to pay for that. I was paying for an upgraded version of Google so that I could schedule my emails. I don't have to do that anymore. Dubsado has 
also eliminated the need for that program. So I am really happy with its ability to sort of take all of these different softwares and programs and merge them into one. I believe the subscription right now for Dubsado is around $35 a month, but if you use the code Catherine G, you'll get 20% off of your subscription and I will also get a free month. If I'm providing codes for you in this video, I want you to know that they are affiliate codes. If you use them, I do sometimes receive money or a free month or so from that program. So thank you so much for using those codes if you do decide to do so. Also, just like Show It, Dub Sato's customer service is incredible. They are around the clock providing service. If you have any questions, you can instantly tap the chat bubble, write up your question, and within a few minutes, they will answer. I've done mentor sessions where I'm trying to help someone set up their Dubsado, we run into a question, and within a matter of minutes, we have our question answered. That is incredible. When the client is viewing in Dubsado, they are able to view their invoices, all their emails, all the forms that they've submitted to you, whether it be a contract or a client questionnaire. It's all in one place inside of their client portal. This is really nice for the client to be able to log in anytime they want. They can check their balances. They can see the history of our conversations and I can as well. So when I was choosing to move into Dubsado, it was because I didn't want a system that was just good for me. I wanted a system that was good for my clients. It made it seamless for them to book, seamless for them to work with me, and it made the process very professional and it gave them um, a good perspective on our photography brand. The third thing we're gonna talk about today is email marketing. I don't do a ton of email marketing to my photography side. I do a little bit more of using email marketing for my education brand, but I do a few times a year email my clients. And when I'm thinking about emailing my clients, oh my gosh, I couldn't even imagine going to find every single email address, putting it one by one into Gmail. So I use a program called Flowdesk, F-L-O-D-E-S-K. I also have a code here if you're interested that will allow you to get half off of Flowdesk. But let me tell you why I love Flowdesk. The reason why I love that program is because it makes email marketing actually fun. Who would have thought that writing an email would be fun, right? But Flowdesk has somehow managed to do that. They have layouts for you, a ton of fonts, colors. You can implement your own branding into your emails, which makes it just feel like you're more in Photoshop or Illustrator versus an email marketing program. I can tell you that I've used ConvertKit. I found it pretty confusing and it was very expensive. And I've also used Keep, K-E-A-P. And um, a few things I didn't like Keep. Number one, when I did decide to cancel, it felt like they were trying to keep me in the program, which I really didn't care for, and it was very expensive. Just to give you an idea for the amount of email subscribers that we do have, I was paying close to $500 a month in Keep, and now with Flowdesk, I'm paying $19 a month, which is unbelievable how much money that I'm saving per year. I believe they just moved out of the beta version into a full service program, but the code will give you a discount for sure off of whatever the current pricing is. I have to say, Email marketing for your clients is huge. There's a couple of times a year where I think you can really utilize this. I think you should for sure be um, emailing at the end of the year just to check in, do a sort of year in review, let your clients know what you've been up to, see how they're doing. I get a lot of responses at that time of year and it's really nice to hear back from my clients. I also use email marketing once a year for Black Friday. And I can tell you the past two years, we've made several thousand dollars in Black Friday weekend every year because we prep for that, we plan and we run sales in our image host galleries. This is a really great opportunity for you to make a few extra dollars right before the winter season. Even if you're not gonna use email marketing a ton, I highly recommend it, even if just for those two times of years, to reach out to your clients and touch base. The fourth thing we're gonna talk about today is image hosting. We're photographers, we are going to be delivering images to our clients, so how are we doing that? For a very long time, I used a program called Zenfolio. I am still using Zenfolio, but primarily now to archive images and to reference the app on my phone. However, when I am sending a gallery to my clients, I'm using a program called PickTime. There's a few reasons why I really love PickTime. Number one, I love that the site is beautiful. It's very um, clean and modern and easy to read and just kind of gives that elevated aesthetic to the image galleries that I'm looking for with my photos. I like the automations. The automations inside Side of pick time allows me to run sales to my clients. I do what's called an early bird. So anytime anyone logs into the image gallery, they instantly have a sale running and it shows at the top. Hey, for the next seven days, you can
can get 20% off of any print that you purchase. I found that since when I started running the early bird sale and the early bird automation, my print sales have gone up substantially because this was a missed opportunity for me. I didn't realize that clients were the most excited when they came into their galleries initially and then of course around their anniversaries. You can run anniversary sales as an automation or you can even do what's called an expiration or an expire automation. At the end of one full year that the gallery has been hosted, the service will send an automated email to your client saying, hey, your gallery is expiring. If you want to keep it online, this is the fee and we can host it for you. So your clients have the opportunity to have a cloud service of their wedding photos, their family photos that they can continue to visit year after year. I don't know about you, but downloading images for clients can sometimes be a point of contention and confusion. Also, so can prints and orders. If I am looking to have clients download images or want to purchase prints and products, what do I want? I want that process to be super easy for them. When I switched to PickTime, I noticed a substantial drop in client confusion and correspondence around issues that they were having downloading their images. This was so nice. I love that PickTime has made it so easy for my vendors, so easy for me whenever I download images from my phone. I just pull it up in the web browser and I download images directly to my iPhotos. I have to say, for all those reasons and more, I love PickTime and I'm gonna share the code for that as well. PickTime will give you a discount if you use this code. I don't remember because it's a bunch of numbers and letters, so I'm gonna put it here on the screen for you. And lastly, the fifth thing that I wanna talk about today is educational resources. I want this YouTube channel, of course, to be an educational resource for you. I know that we're still fairly new in um, you know, creating videos and content, but I plan to make this a big part of our year moving forward in years to come. So I hope that you subscribe and continue to watch the videos. But also I wanted to let you know that at catgresources.com, I have put a lot of effort and heart over the past few years into podcasting. We have over 100 episodes that you can tune into. You can go to that website and look at all the programs that we use. I've listed it all there with links, all the things we're talking about today and more. My favorite books for photography, all our gear is linked. It's just a ton of information that you can go on and access completely for free. Catgresources.com is where I would love for you to go as your fifth must-have resource for your photography business. I hope that it serves you well. Again, my name is Katherine Guidry. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy shooting.